he do a competition? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, don't fucking be fooled. You got like no fucking. Who have you fucking beat? Um, one, more, one more. So you go one more uh, sparring? Or the best Irish next? guy or what? No, what? Saying, I'm just saying that he's had fucking matches with top black belts all over. He trains with this guy's on top fucking one of the best black belts in the world. And he's. Andy. Andy. Sorry. He's the best guy. Um, but you know what I'm saying? You got, you got like the, with the best fucking Irish guys over there, right? The fuck? They just started wanting to do this because you know. Everybody's jumping on the. Everyone's jumping on board because because one Irish dude is 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 going somewhere amongst all the Irish. But this ain't fucking Ireland. This is fucking. Uh, this is the best fucking grapplers in the world that you have here, sparring, working with the best boxers in the world here. But we, you know, there ain't no money behind any sort of advertisement going out to promote our situation. Never has been. That it never, never has been, never has been. So, do miss, what do you mean by that? Do you miss that? There, there, there's not. There's a lot of money going out into, uh, into you know, advertising McGregor. Otherwise, he wouldn't be uh, a big superstar right now. You know, and, and I'm talking before the Aldo fight. How do you think that you know that's before the Aldo fight? You ain't never gonna be Floyd Mayweather. I don't know why you're trying to act like Floyd Mayweather. That's what he should have said. That's what Floyd should I'll say it for him. He's yeah. what he should have said. I'm like, no, look, you, what, you get tapped out by some of the fucking lamest lames in your shit. Fin yeah. You know, I'm like, motherfucker, I ain't never even lost a fight ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got, um, yeah, what was it he said? What did Floyd <clears throat> say? Floyd said, uh, you don't remember what Floyd said about Connor? Connor said about Floyd? Yeah, oh, cause, you know, but then everybody gets mad at me when I run my mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what he said. We just came back with him like, hey, you ain't ever going to be the best like me because you already lost to two fucking guineas. To two little lambs. Now, some of the lamest, I don't even who the, I don't even know who those guys are. I never heard them. I, I think they're from Ireland. Like I said, there ain't no Irish black belts. Not none that. I, not none, you know, not, not, ain't none on my motherfucking level. There definitely ain't none on his level. He, how many back belt, how many how many uh, divisions he won in, in, in absolute division year after year? Uh, how many matches has this guy done? What did he, has he ever done a grappling tournament? You ever heard about a grappling tournament he did? Yeah, he's blown, uh, he, 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 is he, he stuck in the mud? Is he, he stuck in the mud? Uh, he's stuck in the mud. He lost high half guard. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I make 155 pounds because he would have done it. He would have done it. Meaning Connor make 100. Yeah, no, no, no. He was gonna make 55 regardless. For that's a lot of money. I think. He, he could do it. He could do it. Me, I can't do it. I had to say, fuck 170. But, but what would you say about his confidence? And I wouldn't want to do that shit real quick like that. So I think that that's, you know, but he's in good shape. He already is in good shape. But what about Connor? He's he'd be in here talking about how great he is. He, he's not though. I mean, what, on paper, he's not. He beat what uh, to me the fucking forty-five pounders he beat up. Uh, he, he fucking he, 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 nobody good is my opinion. Nobody good. Just a lot of commercials and advertisement. How many black, how many black belts you tap out? I said what what you know what he was talking shit back and forth. Floyd Mayweather. I mean, bro, you're never gonna be Floyd Mayweather. You already lost twice to two two guys who are not uh, on a legitimate level. So on account of he already lost twice to two guys who are not. On a legitimate level, that just tells me, I'm like, look, you ain't never gonna be the best. You already lost to two fucking guineas. I ain't never losing to nobody who lost to some fucking little fucking Irish land guineas. Uh, that's, you know, I mean, that's that's just that's fact. That's on paper. That's on that's on paper. And on gym, you can see what kind of work this guy's put in. He ain't working with nobody. He ain't working with no black belts. He ain't sport, had no had no legitimate sparring. Has no legitimate trainer. Look at this trainer. Look at look at him. It's, it's like this is ridiculous here. You don't have anybody in MMA on a level like this. Anybody. Why did, why did he choose? Why did he choose? Had, he's had three to five fights a year for fucking like 15 years. You know what I'm saying? After a while, you realize there's more to life. And then all of a sudden, they, after a while, you sit down. You you know maybe you have a drink. You realize there's there's more to life. You know fucking 40 fights later, and then they give you fucking a 10 fight notice, uh, or or they give you a title fight with a month's notice, or or they give you a fight with the fucking new guy who's supposed to be the shit, but nobody's ever heard of him. It's like there's no motivation in that. So yeah, you know, you, you know, like I said, uh, what you know, 30 fights you're gonna come up short a few. 30, uh, three to five fights a year, you're gonna come up short a few. And every fight you're supposed to lose, 
time and time, you know, fight somebody where you're the where you're the uh, the underdog in every every fight you've ever done. That's been me. The only fights I've ever been favored to win were were, were, were fights I did for Showtime and Elite XC and, and uh, Strike Force because I had the, I had the UFC veteran, so they're you know everybody's out trying to take my spot. But what that was that? whenever I'm in the UFC, I'm always the guy I'm supposed to lose every fight I've ever done there. Same for him. He's done more fights than I have in the UFC, and he's supposed to lose like every fight. So what do, why do you think uh, Conor chose your brother then? Uh, you know, a lot of what people tell you really gets to your head after a minute, and you know, just like you look at those guys, they're not as good. So you want to say, man, I'll, I'll take those. But it's it's hard as as a fighter, like you, when you go into a fight knowing that you that you didn't take the the best guy. You know what I mean? It's like you're, and they, someone's gonna call him on it. He doesn't want to be called on shit like that. He wants to say, look at, I, I fucking took the best fucking fighter. This is the best fighter right now. Whoa. Damn, you hit him too hard. Sissy, come on. <laughs>